G'day and welcome back to our Holy Roaming Empire campaign in CK2. So I uh, ended up giving away the Kingdom of Italy to um, the King of Greece, and I can't remember what else gave up. There's a bunch of stuff to try and keep us under the vassal limit. Now, French Holy War for the Sinai. Who is he imprisoned by? Us. Yeah, it's still just the Count of Bois. Um, his Holy War would give him quite a bit of land. You accept paying the ransom. Good. Good, good, good. Alright. Yes, get the idea. Everyone accepts. It's a lot of prisoners. But, right. should you give us enough money to maybe create another kingdom? Alright, 319. Still got prisoners we couldn't ransom. So, just to go back through. A lot of these are going to be going to the same liege, which is going to take a while. Could just execute them or release them. Alright, you are where? Way up there. Well, I doubt we have any excuse for going to war with him, where it's still actually got troops raised anyway. And we lost our spy master, no? That was a while ago. Alright, he lacks a guardian. And every time these guys accept, we'll send off the next round. Alright. So it's three different leashes we took them from. Okay. Oh, good. So, next round. Um, yeah, whatever. And Prince Egfrith of England has inherited something. Except paying the ransom. Alright, starting to think she might fancy me. Okay, don't mind getting some bastards out. Give her a good tumble. How old is our wife? 31. Yeah, we're gonna kind of risk having a child. And more counties being converted. How is Bornholm doing? Still hasn't converted yet. <sighs> and now the sailing dies. Alright, peasants have revolted in Semyer. Uh, hopefully people down here can raise somebody to deal with that. We have our armies coming in. He's almost arrived. Alright. Um, let's put in... Siege bonus guy. Actually, do we have... Yeah. Now he's leaving. Alright, should help out. And the King of Swomi died of depression. The new King of Swomi, King Karen. We can offer a non-aggression pact to still, so that's going to be a good idea. Of course you accept. Alright, uh, Kingdom of Bulgaria can be done. Now remind me, Bulgaria is around here somewhere. It's Valachia. Damn it. Alright. Kingdom of Bulgaria is, yeah, in between. So, do we want to create it? I believe we do. Another kingdom for us. Alright, and then Empire of Britannia and the Latin Empire, Empire of Francia. No other kingdoms there. Let's dismiss that for now. Uh, we're going to be aware of that. And 24 week claims. Still got the Kingdom of Sverreich. Sheikdom of Alvishri. Down on the Fatimids. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing that. And we're still dragging people out. County of Wag has changed. You know what? How's the uh, orthodoxy going? So a lot to get rid of. And uh, the other thing that I had forgotten. Um, where was I looking at it? In this. Count Eudoxius of Chaldea. Demand religious conversion. They have to be imprisoned to be able to do that, don't they? Alright. Um, what if we were to assign him a guardian? 
Can you declare war on the guardian of the child? At least you go in. Might become German. Would help. All right. And Reinhard. Yeah, everyone else should be Catholic. No, there's some Orthodox in there. All right. Thought it was in order. No. No. Hmm. Um, would love to force her to change. I right, guess we can't. No, no, and no. The ecumenical patriarch will probably never flip to Catholic. All right, leave them as they are. You know, minus 72 because of controlling the Sinai. And I doubt that that's going to go away just for taking this one. We'll probably have to take all four. Victory there. It actually did just require that one. So just I lot. And let's just assault that. And assault that. We're in a bit of a hurry. And do we want to kill them? We've got other people coming down. Let's just put Rostislav and Bernand in here. And stop in Elorish on the way. Alright, let them get started. Now, the other armies... He was killing people over there. Occupied by us. Okay. Get over that side. Fez, Fez Aragon. And Mr. Slav is him. Engelbert is coming down. Alright. So, lost a lot of battles. We're just going to have to do a ridiculous number of occupations to make up for him. And where precisely are you going? To there. Alright, the daughter was born to Prince Berger of Sveirreich. Alright, Prince Berger. Heir to the Kingdom of Greece. Yeah, he's the guy that's causing the issues. That has the weak claim on the Kingdom of Sveirreich. So there's going to be a double king in there somewhere before too long. And the French. And then want to bug out. Peasants have revolted in Fez, right underneath Aragon's army. Alright, next one. Very fast. 60 days will do it. Victory there. Um, do we have another siege leader? I don't think so. Just put him in. Okay. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Alright, who are you? Ryzen. No. Oh crap, we're under attack. Um get in please, loop it. Should be able to hold them off long enough, I expect. Close, but got in there. Break his flanks. Russia's struggle against the heathens has not gone unnoticed. Gain two hundred gold. Ave Maria. I haven't had that one before. Nice. And that's looking way too close. Uh, my wife's pregnant. Okay, so there goes our plan to get France back. And we're going to lose that. Damn it. Narrow flank won't help enough, especially not with them coming in. Who else just came in? Blah. Alright, uh, everybody needs to try and go the same way. And we lost 14,000 men in that. And they are splitting up. Alright, uh, we have some going to Farama. The 27th. We have just the 27th to sort ourselves out. Okay, so this army's dead. Might as well get rid of them. This army is okay for now under our siege leader but I really want to win this so we can grab all the stuff it's this guy in charge so we can't even pull out anyway but um, no, get rid of them alright, so we've got one army over this side that really won't be able to do much um, it's going to be time holy crap, look what we can raise alright, 
guess that's why he released the kingdoms. Um, yeah, let's just go down there. It's our best chance to put a lot of guys in, which is great. Well, it's a little bit of land, but it's uh, fine. All right. All of these guys meet up in there. Should have a supply limit. All of the English can meet up down in Cornwall. And the Germans, etc. Germans, Italians, Greeks, Swedes, whoever else is around can go to Constantinople. We are apparently leading armies. Not a good idea. Ooh, big army down there. Alright. These guys can go in. These guys can come up this way. Probably should have kept the other one there. But under these 17,000, we'll grab Siege with Morale Defense. We'll have Pursuit with Damage and Morale Defense. And we'll have Narrow Flank with Morale Defense. And they'll have to sit in Jafar to wait. Alright, and who do we actually pull them from? They'd have to be from France. Yep. Alright, arranged marriage. Hedwig. Damn them. Gonna decline. To actually break the thing? No. Broke before because the guy died. Alright, so we got the thing on Sverreich. Actually, was that because... No, it's because he was in a regency. That regency is still a couple of years from finishing, so we're all good. And just with these guys, we might actually be able to push everyone else there back. Alright, so... Depending on how long it takes to get their morale back. Except the Duchy of Man. Alright, it's a long enough march. Morale is full. They're attacking them, so... Yeah, some more guys coming in. So they'll have to choose which one to go to. Uh, 17 to 13. We've already broken one flank. Very good. Call off the pursuit, please. Flank them. Alright. We lost our center. Reinforcements from the Sinai, though. It's lucky. Alright, pull them out. We still lost 8,000 men. But Sheikh Malik was captured. And we're on 40. Uh, we need to chase them. They're all going to Farama. Alright, he'll hang behind. County has converted to Catholic. Alright, King Emmerich of Aragon has usurped County of Tarragona from the Duke of Fez. You know, the Duke of Fez, they were an issue a while ago. We've actually lost this. That sucked. He bring reinforcements in. Hmm. Oh, well, now they can hold the center while we get a bit of morale back. We get in on the fourth. All right. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve point six. Uh, do we have somebody who's good at leading the center? Actually, where are we? This is mountains. I suppose we have a mountain specialist. Farmland step, plains, damage against religious. Alright, loot bit should have been in there. Alright, and this line will be up to about 20%. Battle of the Rich. Was somebody else. Alright, next one starts tomorrow with a couple of men. And his morale is still decently low. Don't think we're going to be bringing enough. Well, at least loot bits in there. Alright, and Salian is a mastermind. She needs to matrilineal marry somebody. Go, boar. Go for it. Alright. And a daughter was born to us. Good. Just fulfilled the ambition to have a daughter. We don't want to have a son, but I guess if we do, that's fine. 
This is kind of folding. Very close battle. Oh, nice. Killed 2,000 of his. Did we have time to get any morale back? No. So we're definitely not going to chase him. Um, let's... No friendly units here to attach to. I think you'll find there are. Blois. Bloisian army. I'm sure it's Bloisian because they're not French anymore. Which is why we could get the uh, other ones. Alright, pick an ambition. Supposed to have a son. Yes. And you want to get married. Fine. Betrothed can marry. No, they may not. And we need to keep an eye out here. So, loot bit. Let's switch back to Mr. Slav. He's good at, um, good at flanking too. All right, we'll keep an eye out for their turn around. All right, he's going the other way. He's probably going to attack this army. That's a bit far for him to go. But they're all good. Is there another siege guy? We just put Mustaslav in. Damage against resistance enemies. Combat flanking. No. 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 Nobody else is good. Alright, um, this will finish kind of soon anyway. It's the second barony down there. And they've left. So we need to keep an eye out. Alright, seeing another woman behind my spouse's back. Gain the trait chaste. Piety, learning, fertility. Learning, yeah. Stressed is bad. Cruel is bad for vassal opinion. Don't want lustful. Um, yeah, 25% chance we become chaste. Awesome. And measles in Methone. Alright, victory in the siege. Now, we lost how much to that battle? It's a lot of defeats. Lots and lots of defeats. As far as battle goes, Battle of Arish, we lost 8%. So we're going to have to take out a bunch more of these. Watch out for his armies coming through. Speaking of which... Uh, yeah. Group these up. Split it in half. Get one going to Abydos, and then coming down there. The other going to Nicomedea. To go over there. Oh, they've actually taken that. Alright, um, we'll finish this one. Then we'll need to go retake these. Hopefully before all the garrison gets built back up. Alright, Siege 4 again. Siege 4, Speed 4. Alright, he is apparently good. Why is he not doing a siege? Pope is upset with our law of free investiture. The Holy Father is asking us to change it to comply with church doctrine. Well, excuse me, but you are under us. Implement papal investiture. Don't want to do. Lose piety, lose moral authority. Opinion goes down slightly. Or lose gold. Um, well, I rule in my realm, buddy. Hopefully, well, you shouldn't be able to um, excommunicate us. Right, why are we not allowed to do this? Caliph Nabil. This is your land. You haven't been kicked out of the war or anything. Hmm. Announce that we are anathema to everything is holy. We've been excommunicated. Yeah, what a bugger. Um, yo, Pope. Just so you know, you need to lift our excommunication. We'll gladly lift the excommunication of Kaiser Cazzello and lower him back into the church. I should think so. It was very rude. Alright, victory in siege over here. So apparently these sieges are still succeeding. They are. It was just the... It must have been on. Yeah, it was on this one. Okay. Stupid thing when I was trying to split them, change the map mode. Well, in that case, get down to the Sinai. And assault that. 
Ooh, might have touched. Who are you? Our sister. She needs matrilineal to one of the kings would be nice. Um, actually, you know what? Screw that. It's probably our best chance of getting them back under us at some point. So it doesn't have to be matrilineal, but we'll call it that anyway. All right. Sinai done. We're at 73%. Let's get up here. So it's who's... Yes, fine. And probably better off spending our sister somewhere else, but we'll be fine. Uh, Mr. Slav is siege guy. It's not applying because we're not leading the siege. So, you know what? Let's just get over here. Alright, fabricated claim on the county of Azraiga. Can't remember where that is, but good, we'll take it. And move a little further over. Now, the uh, county of Azraiga. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, Brefna. So, doesn't want to be vassalized. Do we have a CB on him? We do. Here, we do. Dublin. We don't. So, fabricate on Dublin. And Stuart the Weak claim on Sverreich. What does happen if he dies? His heir is 35. Yeah, whoever his heir happens to be. Yeah, I've got another army ready to go there. Um, yeah, screw it. Bring him down. These guys are going to take some time. Tachi of Smolland, Balik of wherever, Shikdom of Malaga, Grand Principality of Polotsk. Alright, um, Castile has left. Damn it, we need to declare war now. Wouldn't accept vassalization? No, I'm a king. Hmm. Not sure if we actually still have clock. Well, we couldn't do the thing anyway, could we? King of Leon. And nobody else wants to come in. Well, we need a male. Count of Toledo can't do it. Baron of Tefala. There's no unlanded male guys in there. Alright, what about... Claimants on Lyon. Sancho, the King of Lyon, of course. Um, nobody we can invite. Count of Toledo. And we do have Princess of Castile. Alright, we need a male. He's a baron. Yeah, there's nobody there either. Well, it's going to be tough to get them out. Alright. Back to the matter at hand. Peasant Revolt. Here comes our next army. Loot Burts. Damage against religious enemies. Alright, think you're a better marshal. You are slightly. He's unimportant. We're just training troops. Is that still necessary? It is. Alright, let's get our men back. And Norway has usurped Kingdom of Norway from King Gotthard of England. That is completely uncool. Good brand. Duke of Uslandet, kind of Akashus and Opland. Um, but if you're going to do that, can't revoke it. No. Uh, we'll just send you a gift. Keep you happy with us. Alright, back over the vassal limit because he's a new guy. And I don't think we can get rid of anybody. Duke. Transfer vassalage. No, got nothing. Unless we found a King. King of... Well, King Bishop of Poland. Can't transfer him any Dukes. King of England. Nope. King of Frisia. No. King of Norway. Here we go. Give him the Duke of Jemtland. At least it will get us back on the limit. Alright, cool. 
So I'm going to take a short break here, and when we come back, we'll keep losing battles. See, I thought he was going that way, and I didn't keep an eye on him. Alright, get it on the 4th of July. Alright, and then he's going to die. So we have to disband him, lose another 4,000 troops for no good reason. But yeah, I'll take a short break here. So thanks for watching, hope you're enjoying it, and hope to see you again soon. See you later.